In life, we often encounter moments where the weight of our troubles feels overwhelming and spiritual battles seem relentless. It is in these moments that we are reminded of a profound and transformative truth. We do not face these challenges alone. Prayer offers us a sacred connection to a strength beyond our own, a strength rooted in God's promises and the unwavering love of Jesus Christ. When we pray in His name, we are not merely speaking words, we are stepping into a realm of spiritual authority that declares victory over darkness and invites divine peace into our hearts. This isn't a passive or quiet surrender, it is a powerful proclamation that we are God's beloved, shielded by His love and empowered by His Spirit. As we turn to prayer today, let us do so with faith that uproots all fear, with courage that stands firm against every shadow, and with a heart open to the abundant peace that God longs to pour over us. Through each word spoken, may we feel the strength of heaven itself, lifting us, guiding us, and grounding us in an unshakable hope. As believers, we are given the power of God's word as a mighty tool against every force that rises against us. Deuteronomy chapter 28, 7 says, The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. When we speak these promises, we aren't just speaking words, we are invoking God's living, active power into our lives. The authority given to us through Jesus is immense. Luke chapter 10, 19 assures us, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. Let these declarations of faith become your shield, allowing you to walk confidently, knowing that you are never alone. Lord, we thank you for the victory you've promised us in your word. We ask that you surround us with a heavenly host to protect us in every spiritual battle. We proclaim victory in your name and bind every scheme of the enemy. We refuse to entertain his lies and choose instead to walk in your truth and peace. In the battles of life, we often feel the strain and intensity of opposition pressing in. Yet we are not alone in these moments. God, in his boundless mercy and strength, promises to stand with us through every hardship. His presence goes before us, fighting on our behalf, even when we feel weak and weary. The words of Isaiah chapter 41, 10 serve as a constant reminder of his faithfulness, Fear not, for I am with you, be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Here, God assures us that his hand will not only support us, but will also lift us up, empowering us with divine resilience that surpasses human understanding. When struggles seem too heavy to bear, we are invited to lean deeply into his strength, knowing that his power is greater than any trial that comes our way. It's in these moments of surrender that we experience the fullness of God's promise, he is Emmanuel, God with us. This title is not just a comforting phrase, it's a powerful truth that transforms how we approach every battle. Because God is with us, we need not fear the future or be shaken by adversity. His presence is our fortress, a place of refuge where peace and joy abound, even when the world around us trembles. As we turn our hearts to Jesus in prayer, we place our trust in his power to secure victory, not by our own might but by his divine strength. We acknowledge that he has already overcome every challenge, carrying our burdens upon himself on the cross and emerging victorious. Our battles, therefore, are not fought in isolation. We are fortified by a Savior who has conquered death and stands with us in every trial. Lord Jesus, today we lean into your unshakable strength, drawing confidence from your constant presence and unwavering love. You are our anchor in turbulent times, our steady guide when the path is uncertain. Help us to release our fears and rest in the assurance that you have already gone before us. We embrace your peace, which guards our hearts and minds, and rejoice in your victory, which is already ours. With every breath, we declare that you are our refuge and strength, and we stand victorious in you. 
In the journey of life, we often find ourselves embroiled in spiritual warfare on multiple fronts. It can manifest in our physical health, disrupt our relationships, or even threaten the peace within our minds. These challenges may seem overwhelming, yet it is in these very struggles that God's promises provide the solid foundation we desperately need. In Isaiah chapter 54, 17, God declares with absolute certainty, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. This promise is not just a reassurance. It is a powerful declaration that no matter what the enemy may throw our way, we are shielded by the almighty hand of God. When we embrace this promise, we are actively choosing to place our unwavering faith in God's divine protection over every area of our lives. The enemy may try to stir chaos, but our trust in God's strength anchors us in peace. Right now, Father, we declare that no weapon formed against us will prosper. Every attack aimed at our health, our relationships, and our peace is broken in the name of Jesus. We reject the enemy's schemes and cover ourselves with the blood of Christ, knowing that we are eternally protected. Our lives, our families, and our futures are securely held in your loving hands, Lord. We stand in the confidence of your mighty power, trusting that you will defend us and bring us through every battle victorious. The path of righteousness is not always easy, and it is often marked by the temptation to stray. Every day, we are faced with decisions that challenge our commitment to living in alignment with God's will. Galatians chapter 5, 17 acknowledges this internal conflict, for the flesh desires what is contrary to the spirit, and the spirit what is contrary to the flesh. This battle between the flesh and the spirit is an ongoing reality in the lives of believers. Our flesh, which is influenced by the world, craves what is fleeting and temporary, while the spirit calls us to live according to the will of God, seeking eternal peace and righteousness. While the struggle is real, the power to overcome it is even greater. Jesus, through his life, death, and resurrection, has already provided the way for us to triumph over temptation. He has equipped us with everything we need to live a victorious life, not in our own strength, but through the power of the Holy Spirit. It is through prayer and reliance on the Holy Spirit's guidance that we are empowered to resist the temptations of the flesh. When we seek the Lord earnestly, He fills us with the strength to make righteous choices, even in the face of temptation. Dot. Father, we humbly come before you today, asking for your strength to overcome every temptation we face. Our flesh is weak, but we know that your spirit is mighty. We pray that you would guide us by your Holy Spirit, granting us discernment and the power to resist what is wrong. When temptation knocks at our door, may we be reminded of the righteousness that you have called us to walk in. Help us to remain rooted in your word, for your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. May your truth guide us and keep us firm in our faith. With your strength, we can confidently walk on the path you have laid before us, knowing that you are always with us, leading us in righteousness. In times of darkness or fear, when the weight of life feels unbearable and the shadows of doubt loom large, we are never alone. God's promise remains steadfast and unwavering, he will deliver us. Throughout the Psalms, we find echoes of cries for help that resonate deeply with our own struggles. In Psalm chapter 34, 17, we are reminded of a powerful truth, the righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them, he delivers them from all their troubles. This is not just a verse to memorize, but a promise to claim, a promise that God hears our cries and responds with deliverance, no matter how dire the situation. In our moments of distress, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by circumstances, as if we are fighting an uphill battle alone. But God's word assures us that he is a faithful deliverer who hears our prayers and is ever present in our time of need. When the storm rages around us, God's faithfulness is the anchor that holds us firm. No matter what we face, be it illness, emotional turmoil, financial strain, or the oppression of fear, God is with us, ready to lift us up and carry us through. 
Father, we call upon your name today for deliverance from all evil that seeks to overwhelm us. Where darkness tries to cloud our vision, we ask that you shine your glorious light, illuminating our path with your truth. Where fear grips our hearts, we pray for your peace to flood our souls, casting out all anxiety. And where weakness threatens to overtake us, we ask for your strength to rise within us, empowering us to stand firm. You are our refuge, our mighty fortress, and in you, we find safety and rest. We trust that, even now, you are actively working for our good. We surrender our worries to you, knowing that your perfect peace will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. May we always find solace in the assurance that you are with us, hearing our cries and delivering us from every trial we face. Your faithfulness endures forever. Prayer is our lifeline in every battle. It is a divine weapon that transcends the natural realm and reaches into the spiritual. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, 4 says, The weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. With God's word, prayer, and worship, we engage in battle, knowing that our victory is assured. Lord, teach us to wield our spiritual weapons with confidence. Help us to remember that, while we may face opposition, we are equipped to overcome. Fill us with the courage to stand firm, and remind us that with every prayer, the forces of darkness are pushed back, and your light shines forth. Anxiety and worry are often tools the enemy uses to keep us bound, but God offers freedom. Philippians chapter 4, 6-7 instructs us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. We lift up every worry, every fear, and every concern to you, Lord. Replace our anxieties with your peace. Help us to keep our eyes on you, knowing that you are in control. We trust that you are our provider and protector, and we leave all our cares at your feet. Jesus' victory over sin and death is not only a monumental event in history, but also our precious inheritance. It is a gift freely given to all who believe in him. And he calls us to walk in that victory each and every day. Revelation chapter 5, 12 paints a vivid picture of the glory and power bestowed upon Jesus after his sacrifice. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain, to receive power and riches and wisdom, and strength and honor and glory and blessing. This powerful declaration reminds us of the immense honor and power of Christ, and as his followers, we share in the victory he won for us. His triumph over sin and death has shattered the chains that once bound us. No longer are we slaves to fear, guilt, or shame. We are free, not just in the future, but right now, living in the light of Christ's resurrection. His victory over death has paved the way for us to experience abundant life, both now and for eternity. As his heirs, we are no longer subject to the enemy's schemes, but we are called to live in the fullness of God's blessing and power. Father, we thank you for the immeasurable gift of salvation that Jesus secured for us through his sacrifice. Thank you for making us co-heirs with Christ and for bringing us into the victory of your kingdom. May we never take this freedom for granted. Help us to always remember the high cost of our salvation and the price that was paid for our freedom. Let this knowledge stir in us a deep sense of gratitude and awe, that we may walk confidently and joyfully in the light of your triumph. We commit to walking in the power, joy, and freedom you've given us. Let us live out each day with the victory of Christ in our hearts. Knowing that through his strength, we are more than conquerors. May we reflect his glory in all that we do and bring honor to his name, now and forever. When life's trials feel overwhelming, we can rest assured that God's faithfulness is unchanging. Jeremiah 33, 3 invites us to call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. In the face of every unknown, we lean on God's wisdom and trust in his guidance. Father, 
we surrender our uncertainties to you. We ask for your wisdom to guide us through every challenge and your strength to support us in every storm. May we find peace in your constant presence, knowing that you are sovereign over every detail of our lives. As we walk forward in our journey, may we always remember the promises God has given us. Through every trial, he is faithful. Through every battle, he provides the victory. Let this be our prayer, that we would stand firm, with hearts anchored in faith, proclaiming victory through Christ. Lord, we thank you for your goodness, your grace, and your never-ending faithfulness. Empower us to walk boldly in your promises, to reject fear, and to stand on the foundation of your word. We declare that we are victorious in Jesus' name, and we commit our lives, our battles, and our futures to you. Surround us with your love and fill us with unshakable faith. Let your light shine through us, dispelling every darkness. We lift up this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus, knowing that you are our deliverer, our protector, and our eternal hope. Amen.